As we're now into hurricane season, the city of Washington says they're better prepared to respond to flooding this year. The department just received new equipment that will help them respond faster. Now your signs, Erin Jenkins was in Washington today. She's in the studio now. So Erin, what is this new equipment? Well, the city's fire rescue and EMS department got two new boats and also a new water pump. They received money from the state secured by Representative Keith Kidwell to buy these new additions. This includes the two new Zodiac boats. They will help with swift water rescues in city limits and also beyond. The boats can run in water as low as just one foot. The department won't have to rely on outside sources any longer to help with some of these rescues. In a city surrounded by water, they'll now be able to respond within five to ten minutes. We're in a tropical storm prone area, um, and if uh, I know our last major event, we relied on a team out of New Jersey, a federal resource to come out of New Jersey. So it takes time for them to get here. It takes time for them to get set up. Well, now at a, at a moment's notice, we can be anywhere with these boats. Um, you know, within just blocks of our station in some of our lowest line areas, so we can literally pick them up and tow them to where we need to go. As part of the $455,000 grant, the department also purchased a pump and motor for a boat they already had. It will allow them to pump water to help put out boat fires or structure fires from the water. Chief RM Flowers tells me his crews have already been training to use this new equipment. They've been training at Fayetteville with swift water rescue simulators to make sure they're prepared in case any flooding comes their way. In the studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you.